more women can do what they like to do, but not what people expect them to do. My name is Zhang Xin, the Vice Director and the Principal Investigator of High Magnetic Field Laboratory in Chinese Academy Sciences. I chose medicine is because my grandpa, he was a very excellent doctor and my parents hope that I can be a doctor too. I got my Bachelor of Medicine degree in uh, Beijing Medical University, but then I went to America to for my PhD degree in uh, biology. And then after that, I went to Harvard Medical School to do some uh, research about uh, chemistry and uh, biology. Now I do research about a uh, high magnetic field and uh, how it affects our human bodies. And uh, my goal is to find out uh, how they work and uh, how we can use them to improve human health. For high magnetic field, it not only pro provides a platform for researchers in physics, chemistry, materials, and uh, life sciences, it also can provide people with some very useful technologies. For example, for the MRI, the magnetic resonance imaging in the hospitals, it has a very strong magnet inside. So this machine can help doctors to see inside your bodies. And this is the most commonly used high magnetic field in everyday life. I have uh, about 12 graduate students and also postdocs. So I spend uh, like more than half of my time to teach them how to do uh, research and how to write papers and how to do literature searching. That's like half of my time spent on that. So we have this lab tradition is that whenever they finish their PhD thesis and after their defense, we will open a bottle of champagne to celebrate. And then after we drink it, and then they will sign their name and then the date that they graduate to celebrate. And also the empty bottle will live here and to, to memorize all the hard time and good time they have spent in our, uh, in our lab. It's true that uh, there are less and less women in research uh, institutes. Like for us here in our institute, there are about 20% uh, women scientists in at a certain level, like research, like associate professor level. But at my level, it's, it's less than 10%. I think the major reason is because most women spend a lot of time taking care of the family and uh, in China, most of the people also take care of their elderly. And uh, so the pressure is coming from society and uh, also come from their own. So that's why uh, there are less and less women. Not because they are not smart, not because they are not as good as men, just because they spend more time in family. So what I have tried to do is, there are multiple aspects we can try. So for me, I try to uh, try to maximize the time, I, how I can spend to do a lot of things. And the other is try to take advantage of the, all the help you can get. For me, it's, um, my husband also helped me to, not really help me, but he also uh, play with the kids sometimes. And also I get a lot of help from my parents-in-law. So I cannot uh, get what I have done without their help. My father-in-law likes calligraphy, so I asked him to write some uh, uh, writings for us to remind ourselves. For example, this one is uh, haste makes waste. And uh, this one is what we know is very limited and what we don't know is infinite. It's going to be hard all along the way, but you will feel different things and once you achieve something and got some unexpected results or some expected results, you will feel very excited. For young people, if you are interested in science and you think you are smart and want to challenge yourself and also want to make a difference to the world, welcome to science.